hidden continent has been discovered on Earth. Our planet is a goldmine of unsolved mysteries. But would you have ever thought there could be such a huge one as a hidden continent? Before we explore this secret place, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you don't miss a thing here on the Bright Side of Life. For decades, people thought they knew all about the tectonic structure of our planet. I mean, we've been taught since kindergarten that there are exactly seven continents, right? The oceans might be mostly unexplored, but we're confident that we've seen everything the Earth has to offer in terms of landmass. However, geologists have recently rocked the world with an astonishing discovery. They claim to have found an eighth continent, Zealandia. That's the name of a piece of sunken continental crust off the coast of Australia that was first coined in 1995 by Bruce Lewendyke, a geophysicist at the University of California, Santa Barbara. At the time, the submerged landmass was thought to be just a slab of rock lying right beneath New Zealand and New Caledonia, which were both considered to be islands chains. A 2016 study called Zealandia, Earth's Hidden Continent, that was published in the Journal of Geological Society of America, concluded that the facts are quite different from what we used to believe. The scientists who took part in the research gathered information from the last 10 years and found that this huge underwater plateau was, in fact, a sunken continent. Can you imagine? All data pointed to this. The diversity of rocks within the slab, the height differences with the ocean floor, the satellite scans, everything. The most surprising thing is that New Zealand and New Caledonia have actually been a part of this huge rock this whole time. They're not islands as we previously thought, but simply peaks jutting out of an unbroken continental plateau. Serve up that knowledge to your geography teacher. The continent of Zealandia separated from Australia about 60 to 85 million years ago. Like all the modern continents we know and love, they both had been part of the supercontinent called Gondwana. Until recently, it was thought that continents can't go underwater like this, in one huge piece leaving only parts poking out above the water's surface. Just so you know, Zealandia measures 1.9 million square miles, which is roughly two-thirds of Australia's area, but over 94% of it is hidden a mile deep beneath the Pacific Ocean. Naturally, very little is known about this mysterious piece of land. To get an idea of exactly how little, consider this. There's more information about the moon than there is about Zealandia. But why is it even considered a continent if it's submerged in the ocean? We're used to thinking that continents are basically pieces of dry land large enough to house billions of living creatures. This isn't exactly true, however. Continents are classified by different criteria, and being above water isn't among them. Surprised? Well, you should be. One of the most important signs of a continent is its elevation above the ocean floor. Notice I didn't say surface. It's been known for over a century now that areas north and south of New Zealand are elevated enough to be called continental crust. Zealandia, however, has struggled to earn that title simply because it's a lot wider and deeper than most continents. But you have to consider the fact that the sea level has risen a lot since the time of Zealandia's separation from Australia, so it very well could have become submerged much later. Talk about Atlantis and its mysteries? The second thing to factor into the continental nature of Zealandia is its geological features. Elevation above the ocean floor by itself isn't enough to call a slab of rock a continent, of course. So scientists include other signs to make this vague definition a little clearer. Oceanic crust consists largely of basalt and gabbro. Continental crust, on the other hand, contains various indigenous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks such as granite, limestone, or schist. Zealandia's terrain, although deep underwater, has all these and more. There have been dozens of sea expeditions in the past 20 years that managed to take samples of the crust, and they all came to a single conclusion. The rocks they found were those of a continental nature, not an oceanic one. The third piece of evidence that we've found in Eighth Continent is that it's thick enough to earn this title. Oceanic floor is typically 4.4 miles thick while continental crust is a lot girthier than that. Zealandia's thickness ranges from 6.2 to 18.6 miles. Of course, this is a lot less than your average continental thickness, which is typically up to 28.5 miles, but it's still thicker than the ocean floor. So, going off the cold hard facts, 
that's enough to consider Zealandia a bona fide continent. After all, you can't argue with the data now, can you? And finally, there's the aspect of boundaries and area when it comes to classifying a continent. You shouldn't be surprised by now to learn that, yet again, Zealandia meets all the necessary criteria. Continents have very clearly defined natural edges. That's why, for example, despite its enormous size, Greenland is regarded as part of North America, not a continent of its own. As for the size of a true continent, scientists haven't yet come to any single unified conclusion on that. There is such a thing as a microcontinent, Madagascar and Morita being just a couple of examples of that. So, since Zealandia is dozens of times bigger than either of those two places, it can definitely be called a full-size continent without any micro in front of it. With all that being said, you know that Zealandia has met all the criteria to be deemed a continent. The most interesting part is that there is no scientifically accepted checklist for continenthood. That's right, no scientific body formally recognizes continents. So perhaps it's only a matter of time until kids are learning about the eight continents of the world instead of the traditional seven. Zealandia has been a subject of debate for over two decades now, and that 2016 study I mentioned earlier showed all the evidence to support the movement to classify Zealandia as a continent. The researchers added that, The scientific value of classifying Zealandia as a continent is much more than just an extra name on the list. Basically, it'd be incredibly useful for the scientific community if they could further explore the nature of Zealandia's continental crust. A continent that can be so submerged yet remain intact for all of this time is a real find for geologists all over the world. It's exciting to think of this incredible opportunity scientists have now. We can find out so many things about our planet that we couldn't have ever imagined before realizing there was a whole new land lying hidden from sight in the depths of the Pacific Ocean. Just imagine the shock New Zealanders must have experienced after learning they've been living on a real continent, not a chain of islands. And it gets even more exciting when you think of what other discoveries might be made in the future. It's kind of like a big game of hide-and-seek, entire continents waiting to be found. Hey, who knows? Maybe one of these days, we'll find Atlantis after all. So, Brightsiders, after finding out about Zealandia, do you believe there could be even more than eight continents in the world? Share your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, school your old geography teacher, and click subscribe to always stay on the bright side of life.